Welcome to Play by Play Podcast, your passport to untold stories of the beautiful game. My name is Patrick Bergman. And my name is Ahmed Ehrim. This is where we're going to tell you about all the untold stories of the beautiful game inside the football and outside the football plays abroad and within the UK, within the game and outside the game, including business. Let's go, man. Yes, Cuba. Welcome to Play by Play Podcast. Okay. Pleasure to have you. My name is Ahmed, aka Ferdy, and obviously you yeah, have Patrick. Okay. Introduce That's yourself me, yeah. for those for those who don't know who you are. Who's Cuba? Start us off the life of Cuba from young all the way up to now. Okay, so my name is Jacob Falinski. I am from Poland. I'm 30, 20, 30, three years old and I'm like young entrepreneur which where where I started my journey at age of 16 and right now I'm focusing on one business which is my agency where we help experts monetize their knowledge to the online courses and it's very nice to be here to be honest it's my first podcast in English uh, so it can be a little bit challenge, but I prepared like everything. So I think we can give good value to your audience. Definitely, definitely. I, I like your attitude, your growth mindset. And uh, let me just strike with, uh, with a question for me. Uh, what uh, inspired you to help people uh, make money online? Okay, so the... F- from a young age, I knew that I would be connect, connected with helping people make online and make money online. So since, since 16, I was trying to do it, but you know, I didn't have experience, so <laughs> it didn't go good. And then I started gaining experience. I started first job, second job, third job in the internet, and it starts go on because at the age of 21, I had vision that I will try to sell my knowledge and share my little little expertise in making money online field. But at this time, when I was 21 years old, I wasn't ready for this. So a year later, I saw in the Polish market that a lot of offers are the same. You know, there, there were only affiliate business and only like the MLM business. So I saw the gap that I needed to be filled and I started doing it. Tell us more about MLM business for those who don't know what the MLM business, obviously me and Patrick know, but for the audiences that know, uh, can you elaborate more on that um, side of field of business? Okay, so MLM business is like when you're you're earning money from inviting people. So this is like the multi-level marketing business. There are first, first line and then People are inviting some people to business. This These people be, below, they need buy product. And when, when they buy product, then they are in the structure and they need to do the same. So it's like the multi-level marketing um, thing. So uh, how do you help uh, people make on money online? Like what's the, what's the process that you go through? Do you contact the other people or the other people contact you? It's looking like this that right now I mix it. I'm working all organic in organic way and also in paid way. But right now, this was like the last 18 months. Right now I'm focusing only on organic way. And right now I a little stopped helping like beginner people make money online. I'm like started help help experts to say sell their, their knowledge so right now i'm only running my agency where we are like a to z partners so we work with clients on the strategy of course vision then we are helping producing material materials for for these experts and also we are like helping with the old technical stuff like funnels community and course platform and etc and then we are helping after we prepare all the course, we are helping like with scaling it. So this is one of our service 
but we can also like like make a coaching so where we are only helping people make and produce create course and then they are scaling it on on the on him on themselves alone so it depends on on client so this is my main focus right now and i don't want to like distract my focus on on other things in the future i'm came, i i'm planning came back to helping like the beginner people but for now it's like this this thing is one of the main focus 16 is very young and i don't even know that's not something normal and i say something special okay what was it that your upbringing was that was completely different to your surrounding completely different to other people's surrounding what was what what inspired you what triggered this um let's say the special talent that you have or this special um fire that drive that you have in there at such a young age yeah it was about my childhood like i had some struggles in my family when i was 13 to 14 15 and when i was 16 i was little like older so i saw that the path which my family choose is not the path that i want to choose in the future because this path lead them to place where i don't want to be so mm. i was thinking to make some things on my own like make some money and then some ads in facebook appear on my page <laughs> i click it i interest it and then i wrote the book the pure and the rich mentally different a half acre and then my perspective for the life it entire life has has changed because I saw that the most of the things which my family or me was doing was like the pure thing, you know, so it was pure mindset. And then I was very excited. I was going from one people, one guy to other guy to my family and my friends telling everybody about this, but like they, they were like not understanding this. And, <laughs> and this was not like motivational for me, the opposite side. But, you know, after this, my vision for the future was like, OK, I can I can make things differently. I can be free in the future. So this was my main drive. And yeah, it, this was the way it, it started. Mm. So you mentioned that uh, a book changed your life. And uh, have you had any success stories with your your coaching business with helping other people make money online can you can you share in any stories mm -hmm. yeah th there are a few stories few interesting stories but the most interesting story stories are like when people join us then they disappear and after some time they came back with some success like patrick made he made mm. some good good money and like he disappeared and then came back and told me this. So this was like very interesting uh, thing for me because um, there are also people who made, for example, some 5K, 10K uh, in a few months. So there are only also the, be the beginners. Uh, but... Also, the interesting uh, story about bigger success success is like with my one of the friend who is like the millionaire right now. But uh, me, me, we, we we meet in November two thousand twenty two, and I met this guy when he was making around fifty k a month. I meet him offline. We spend like two days, and I saw what his problems are, and I knew like the solution for it. So I told him these solutions and then he was like doer, you know, not thinker. He was a doer. He was mm. at this time making like 50 K a month in PLN, not like dollars on, on, on pounds. I'm talking in PLN. So it's like four time less than five time less than pound around. So 
Then he implement this thing, uh, which I told him, and also he disappeared. <laughs> and after like 10 months, he came back to me and he told me that he's making like four times X his earnings. So he was making 200,000 a month. And right now he's making much bigger. So that's why also I, I'm like figure out, okay, I can make bigger impact. Like I can give much more value, help like experts make much money, much more money because they are also providing value to others. So we can, together, we can impact many, much, much more people. So then I'm like decided that I will focus on helping much more experienced people to expand their growth mainly through the online courses. And also I like to give some productivity hacks or, or, or some health hacks because with this also I like uh, struggled in the in the past so i figure out few things and yeah I, I i like to share some things with the other you've mentioned about hacks you've mm -hmm. mentioned about the certain trends that you see what's your top three or top five you want common themes that you see in terms of mistakes is it in upcoming businesses, up upcoming entrepreneurs that don't have to scale their business, they don't have to market their business properly, and it's not nothing to do with the content of their expertise or it's got nothing to do with their knowledge or and it's just getting it out there into the market. What's the common mistakes that you see generally in in the last few years that you've been working both in in expert in the the expert sector and the mm -hmm. beginner sector. Is there any common theme that you see? Yes, there are a few things. Mainly the people who are successful are consistent with one thing. So for example, they choose one model. For example, they choose dropshipping and they are with dropshipping for a few years and they are not distracting their focus on um, SMMA, also on crypto, also on Forex and other, this type of stuff. They are focusing on one thing and then they'll build a team. They, they outsource some things in their businesses. So they, they like put this business growing without them, without much time which they need to invest in this business. So they have much, much more time. And then they are going to, for example, second business. And then they are growing second business and doing the same. Because when some people are not successful, they are like, didn't outsource some things in, in their businesses and they won't make few businesses in each time in one time. So yeah. this is this is the first mistake which people are make and I also made in the past. So so I know this is very very important. One of the most important thing. And the second thing when for example someone is making something like selling courses for example the people who are successful they have the product, they have the offer which people want. The people who are not successful are like making products which they think the people will want, but at the end, people don't want it. So the offer, the research, uh, the, the, the knowledge, what market wants is one of the most important things in courses or some other things like serving physical product like dropshipping. So also the third thing which I saw that is very impactful on success of many people, that is the personal brand. Because we can like sell things with the Facebook ads, for example, or YouTube ads or Google ads. But when we mix it with organic growth, like YouTube, for example, or Instagram, for example, so in the long term, the growth is very, very, very much bigger than when we are making only ads. So mainly where the third thing, the fourth thing, which is like uh, giving success, much success to, to some people 
is like consistency. Like people are quitting some things after months, for example, two months, three months, four months, because they don't see results which they have in their vision. Like they don't see millions, for example, and they just go back and give the space for people who are not quitting. And yeah, this is the four things which I like. So in between the people who are successful and between people who are not successful. You mentioned about uh, consistency on YouTube. And uh, my question to you is, uh, how do you, as a person that is starting to uh, to put out some videos on YouTube, how do you approach the, the YouTube scene and uh, what, what do you use it for? About the YouTube, uh, I started my content in 2023. And it was fun because, <laughs> to be honest, most of my videos was made like on freestyle. But then I was like going deeper in YouTube. I was like watching some videos, watching this mentor, this mentor, this mentor. I was watching on some some trends. And then I decided that I will go back. I will make few steps back. I will go help with some other YouTubers to make grow them channels. I will gain experience and they will back and make much more valuable and much more mm -hmm. like the content, which is in bigger, in better quality. Yeah, that's one thing that I found out. Like there's a lot of people, there's a saying in business, like, um, the most successful people aren't always the most smartest. They just know how to manipulate the market. Mm -hmm. And this is where, I, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, Patrick. This is where me and Patrick feel like we're, we've got the knowledge, we've got the success, blah, 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 in our smaller community. But, in order, but when we're trying to reach out to the masses, to the bigger audiences, to more online, to mm -hmm. in order to kind of leverage and like step away from having to more of a like a one to one client to more of a like one to a hundred clients type of thing, reaching out to the masses. This is where a lot of people are struggling. And this is where like people can't scale their business and they're still working nine to five. Yet they might be doing that, might be their own boss, but they're still working on one to one basis, which is limited to how much you can earn per hour, let's say. Um, so what would your advice be for people that are doing the right things and um, but not seeing the success in terms of how to scale from a one to one ratio to like a one to a hundred or one to a thousand, et cetera, et cetera. What's the common um, themes and mistakes that you see? Yes. Yeah, so I think the, the most efficient way it's like to make YouTube and make courses, but when you are when talking about mistakes which people are making, so I think the people are focusing on also many social medias when they want to scale. They are not focusing, for example, on one thing on YouTube. They are focusing on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, and other social medias like Twitter. I then cannot get a focus. So in long term, they are like overcome with these all things because here something is going on on YouTube, here on Twitter is something going on. And then they have like the thinking head that, okay, like this is a mess. Like this is, there are many, many things going on. So I think the best, I, the best thing to scale like the uh, scale, like the our service, which we are doing to people is like make online coaching where we prepare like the courses, we prepare the knowledge and then we making community where we, where this is the paid community. And for example, we are making weekly calls with these people. So in this way, and this, this can be groups calls. And in this way, we can like scale from one to one to one to hundred. Because for example, 
on some Zoom meeting, we can have like 50 people in a queue and then we can like go one by one and ask for the questions. So in this way, many people in Poland like scale their coachings to 1.5K people, for example. The community have 1.5K and I do, do the same thing. I did the same thing. Like community right now have 1.450K, like 1,450 people. And this is like all the system, the community where the people can communicate with each other and Zoom meetings, for example, when this is one-on-one, -on -one, one, but there is the queer people who is waiting to talk with, with the expert. So in this way, when we connect this with one, for example, platform, the YouTube is the most strongest platform for growing the business, online business, online presence from the beginning because YouTube like to promote new channels. And when you are consistent, when you are like leveling up with your quality and you are like making some collaboration with some people who are new in, in some space of the YouTube, then YouTube is giving you much more people, much more people, much more people. And then you can scale it like the, 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 your, your one-to-one -one service and with the co connected to the, to the social media. And then you can, you can grow like this. That's a brilliant tip for us. Very, very appreciated. So, uh, did you have any mentors or role models along the way, or did you, did you learn everything the hard way from your own experiences? How was it? At the beginning, it was a little fun because like I made a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes at the beginning because I didn't have a role model in my family or outside of the family. I didn't knew some like the mil millionaire p guy when I was young. When I was 20, okay, I met somebody and then this, this person was my mentor and he teach me a lot of things thanks to which I made like 1 million euro in sales for my clients, making it organically or calls every day in six months. So this was like sales, not like earn like money. Uh, <laughs> but this was my first guy, Michael, teach me a lot of stuff. This was like real mentor in real life, not like the virtual mentors. And later... I've like found the Iman Gazi on YouTube and Luke Belmar on, Luke Belmar on YouTube. And, <laughs> and I started like watching them with the, their videos and writing, for example, all the script which they taught in this video. And this way I write on, in English and then for Polish. And then when I rewrite things, for example, from some videos, they go, 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 they went to my head a lot of faster they, than only like watching it. So with Iman, I made, I watched, I think 60% of his videos from the beginning to 2019. So four years on his YouTube journey, I watched like 95% of videos because those were the, these videos was like the most, were the most like uh, valuable because he was not selling his courses each uh, this time, but he was going, giving a lot of value, like a lot of his experience. And then he started like making content about SMMA and this is very valuable. Uh, and also the newest videos also I watched. So this is, was this was the first guy, but after some time, uh, Luke Belmar came. He also helped me about the virtual mentors. Uh, the, he also helped me with, with some things about the mindset. And later I meet the guy which I told you that he w went from 50k to 200k. So he was like my the second real life mentor. And I like... 
Yeah, I learned a lot of stuff from him. And then in the last year, also I started investing more in courses, more in courses. So I like stopped watching videos. I go to the books and courses. And right now I'm on the stage where I stopped what reading books in Polish. I start in English and I only watch courses which I need in this time. So I'm right now focusing on doing things, implementing everything what I know in life. So yeah, this is what was the journey with my mentors. So the virtual mentors, in my opinion, are very important. But the when you change your mindset, when you start doing things, you will meet the real life mentors. And this will give you the most impactful, this will be the most impactful thing in your life about your personal development, self, self-improvement and about the business. How did you come across these real life mentors? That's what a lot of people struggle with um, when they tell people, oh, you need to network, whether it's football or business, or tell them you need to get out there, you need to communicate, you need to be in the right social space. And the most common question that we get, we don't know where to start. So what would your advice be for that? I, adv- I will advise to start do do some business. Because these two mentors in real life, I meet like by accident, they called me, (laughs) you know, because I have some posts in the internet about some business sites where I offer some goods and they called me as interested person who wants to buy. And then on the first call, we got such a good vibe and we know that the, the energy which we made on this call is such big energy and such unique energy. We got really, really nice vibe. And this is host hearts. So I think the advice is to start work and then these people will, will like, when you, when you are showing yourself in the internet, when you are showing your, your offer, when you are like, Making some moves like on, for example, LinkedIn, people, if mm-hmm. wants to make a network, they can start mm-hmm. like, like network in the LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. And when they go on, go on, I think they will meet some people who will be very like similar to them. They will have similar vibe and this will, this will start, this will start the journey. So in in my case to summarize it was like the i don't know this was like it was like the accident i think or or we connect each other i don't know i to, to be honest it they called me <laughs> they called me and yeah. that was the thing <laughs> i need to be a person of value you need to have something to offer first yes and then put yourself out there and then once you're attractive enough in terms of value then they'll come to you yes yes so you should learn the skills get some value some knowledge and then work and they will came i know i know i know i'm sorry for breaking the podcast just one announcement okay check out our channels on instagram on tiktok on facebook play by play podcast i'm a big fan of luke Bernard as you and uh, I'm just addicted to watching his podcasts and videos. And uh, I know there is many people that that are stuck into the learning process. So they watch another video and another one and another one and another one instead of doing the action. And mm-hmm. like, what's your advice to people that are constantly learning, learning, learning without taking the action? Is it good? Is it bad? It depends about each person. But... In my opinion, I think watching a lot of stuff, too much stuff is not good. I think watching one guy is very good. If you choose one mentor or two mentor max, it's good. But when you are watching one mentor, second, third, four, five, and 20 others, it won't work because each of them will tell some different things. So my advice is like to choose one or two guys and just implement what they're telling, not just watch. 
the first the first thing which is the most important like transcript this what they are telling because this is much more efficient than only watching and when you write rewrite this then you figure out okay like you, you you will feel that this is like the connected right right now with you so it's much easier to do it like in real life so when you choose this you should like delete all your social media from from the from your phone or block all the pages like the 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 first pages for example for instagram for linkedin for facebook for youtube and block it all for example on my phone i have only like messenger and whatsapp but that's all when i need something i go on my computer and i watch it on my computer so i was addicted to the youtube uh, because from the young age i was uh, watching youtube when i was 13 i started recording something and then i became like only watcher only like guy who was watching also only but the thing which gave me like the energy to, to implement these things was like delayed all the all the all the youtube stuff and block it and this is the most important so you can download newsfeed redactor uh, extension on chrome which i'm using so this is like blocking the first pages unhook for youtube so you are you won't see comments you won't see like recommended videos and for example you can download block block site when you download it you can block for example youtube and when you came you when you come off on it this is like the website it blocked so choose to summarize choose one or two guys block social media because we have habits like for example doing something like which is hard and then the habit is okay i will go on youtube and this is like the one two clicks and we are like in flow of watching 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 so blocking it is the most important and controlling it like you choose when you are watching not the not the technology is controlling you this was a great advice for everyone great great 100 percent. that's what i've done as well i've put um i've turned off all my notifications every single one of them turned off so when i go click on app or anything i only go there because i need to check something not because i, I receive a notification that dopamine hits if that makes sense so yes. uh, that's a great tip that i'd give to everyone if, if you feel like your business revolves on social media okay just um turn off the notification just go on it when you're working or when you're doing something not when you're i don't know writing up courses or whatever it may be we have four minutes left let me just just uh, squeeze two questions in one okay uh first one is uh what's your plans for the future for yourself for for jacob and for your online pre presence and the other question is where do you see your business in uh, the next couple of years so for me I'm focusing right now for my agency. This is why one of the most important thing right now, because this will impact many people. I think in next two, three years will impact like thousands of people. So they will transform, they will make their dream transformation in some online, online making money space or in some productivity space, only some health space. So I want like expand many different species in, in, in online, uh, education industry so this is my for my like business but, but for jacob i want like make much bigger challenges like for example right now i'm like making i know the dopamine detox i quit sugar i quit all kind of stuff this 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 type of things and i'm working on gym every day so after 30 days i will like add some things like cold shower or some marathon run or something like this so i want to make my like mental much stronger 
And for my online presence, right now I'm making from zero to 10K a month service for YouTube. I'm documenting everything and I will put this on YouTube. And then I'm thinking about making like in the future in Poland music. This is my, like the dream from the young age. So this, I can share like the val value from the music. I didn't saw in Polish or outside the Polish market, something like this. So the third thing, which I'm talking, thinking about the online presence, when I make this zero to one K, 10 K like serious, I'm thinking about making content in English because this will also will be the bigger challenge for me. And this will make much bigger impact on people. So to summarize, I won't like expand my, my agency. I won't challenge myself in many different fields of business or productivity and health and fitness. And also I won't like start with English content. And in the future, when I outsource like the, my business, then I will want to go into music. This is my the, the clean, clean vision for the future. And also I need to like learn English and I'm reading a books. I'm writing in English some some things, so this is also the, the the very very important thing for me. Amazing, oh, amazing. yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie, this guy, for twenty three years old, that's crazy. Man, speaking like he's fifty. Yeah. <laughs> <that amount of, laughs> well, yeah. Hey, Cuba, thanks for coming on. Hey, you're one special special guy. I'm not gonna lie. The most interesting guest we've had so far, one by hundred percent. Um, wish nothing but success for your your personal brand and your business, and I'll keep smashing them goals. I I have no doubt that you'll get the success that you always deserve. Thank you so much for the invitation. It was a pleasure to be here. It was also a challenge <laughs> because I didn't speak in English for for a long time, um, but. Thank you one more time and I wish you also great success with the podcast because it's a very good idea and I I really like behind you I I can I, I support you guys so yeah you also make very nice things and I wish you also big success in your lives. Wow that was an episode. If you want to see more check out this one.